Okay, finally made it across here. I believe is where we're supposed to go. But of course this isn't working. Terrific. So we got on there for nothing. Unless we're supposed to... Oh god. Is that really what we're meant to do? This was just a red herring. Or was it? See, that's the main lift to the surface. painful. Okay, this was the way I was supposed to go in the first place, so I've just been derping around for ages. So sorry you missed me flying through the uh, aperture science sign. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Spirit of Idaho National Potato Board for the Promotion of Potato Science. Cave Johnson Shower Curtain Salesman. Can't read that. Local Entrepreneur by Salt Mine. Aperture Science Shower Curtain Salesman. Aperture Science too. This place is immensely swanky. Now what was this thing you said about repulsion gel? That sounds incredibly interesting. Just have a cigarette quickly. <sighs> no. Elevator control. Please wait for attendant to begin lift. And my own attendant. I need no more of this help from robots. I made my way in the end. So suck it. Do not fall down the elevator shaft. I'll try not to. Get some stuff over there. Pump station alpha. What's that over there? I've got to get over there. That place is certainly poor. Hey, here we are, we're back again. I had to take a quick break after, you know, um, having to... I had to take a quick break and it ended up being a couple of days later that I'm recording this. Um, we have to get over there and then somehow get to Alpha, I think. So let's carry on. The difficulty meter has definitely gone up. It's like, how the hell am I supposed to get there? Giant aperture science sign here. Vitrified. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. 
We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. That's kind of scary. Just a heads up, we're gonna have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Right. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know. Because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. So, where do I go from here now, then? I'll walk off those. Have I literally just got to jump off something and pray that it works. Not the praying kind. It's down there. Nothing that's just gonna get me smooshed, I think. How the heck am I supposed to get over there? Looks like the thing they have at Epcot. There's two of them. Two evil at footballs. Let's not think about Epcot. <laughs> Shoot. Well, we're certainly not thinking about anything anymore now. Aperture Science Innovators. That is a really cool logo. Like, totally awesome dude. Come on, hurry up and load. Yeah then. <laughs> okay, we're just back here again. I'm guessing we're gonna get over there maybe? There's nothing to portal on. Let's explore all the way. Okay, there's some stairs. Maybe there's a better angle we can look at. Can we place a portal on one of those things? No. I don't see how the hell I can get any further in this game. I haven't even had the I haven't really had much opportunity to even, you know... What do you call it? Research... Uh, take a walk through or anything like that. I literally have no flaming clue where the heck I am supposed to go apart from up there. I'm guessing those lead to testing rooms but the doors don't open. Because they've all been sealed and vitrified. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests Please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temper. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up oh, full blast on. and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Is Probably there something I'm supposed to push up? Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Didn't see anything pick up a ball over there. It's not like some games where you literally have to pick things up. Is that sound like more gearing to something? Ah, okay. Damn it. Okay, so 
can get on there. So I'm guessing. I'm guessing something beneath us then? That means we can launch ourselves over there. Um, the fact that there's that. Hmm. I don't know. That will do something if we jump in it. No. Or, or, maybe I'm being completely stupid and there's a panel at the bottom here that's portable on. And we just didn't see it because we had to go up there and we need to launch ourselves across. Of course! Get in. All right, that was me worrying for nothing. Okay, you can close. No allergens, pollen, animal dander, plastics, antimatter. Yep, quite allergic to antimatter. No chemical hazards, do not inhale fumes. Do, no matter how good they smell. It has this material, so don't touch anything unfamiliar. Yelp pressure control. Up the side. Let's concentrate on Alpha. Go down here. I'm sure there's a torch on this portal gun, so we had a bit more light. Yelp. There's gel going up there. And all these surfaces we can portal on. So that's good. There's something that looks suspiciously like a suspiciously like a door used to be there. So there's a door here. Can't go in there, the hand is not on there. This way. That panel's not on there either. I see. I've got to get over there. Over there. Well, don't curse it. Well, close enough. That's a bit better. Definitely a better angle to do that at. Afterwards. Together we can make 1956 the lowest unexpected casualty anim ever. That's a that's a low thing to hit. Then here we are here. from here. We've got to literally walk on this thing and go over there. Looks like... They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. It's a lift! We found a lift! Guys! Guys! We found a lift. Just look at it. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's so beautiful! And it's got one of those emancipation grills on it. So it's not a... Like a lava lamp. Just look at that thing. Stare at it for ages. And my viewers would get very annoyed and be like, Paige, get on with the game! Stop staring at the beautiful graphics. They say, Pool, just look at it! Isn't it amazing? 
You just want me to stare at this for ages and ages and ages. Now I'm bored now, let's get in. Going up. Well, we certainly can't go any further down. I mean, what's further than the bowels? Well, I know what's further than the bowels, but in a building, what can you get that's further than the bowels? Because after that point, you're then no longer part of the building. This analogy is going strange strange places that I don't want to think of. Yes, let's, let's carry on. Oh, suddenly it's so cold. But it almost leaves down. Oh yes, that's so much better. Well done. Look where my arm warmers went. Probably in my sock drawer. I don't have a specific drawer for arm warmers. I only have two. Ouch. Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Remember, this test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science portable quantum tunneling device. If you have not received one, please find the test associate for participating in Shaft 9 enrichment activities. Well, I've got one. It does both things. Pulsing Gel. It's Aperture's first attempt to create a dietic pudding substitute. It's true! The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that su causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out of his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from the shells. For more information, consult the following fact placard. Aperture Science Plan Fact Placard Number Blah 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 Repulsion Gel All Sorts Concerning Aperture Science Fact Placard Number Blah 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 Repulsion Gel Public Outrage Over this does just look like blue paint. It's like slime blocks. I'm so happy. I'm guessing the higher we go, the higher we bounce. What's this? Do I need something? Ah, I see. Cunning. <laughs> wow, that's what the weighted cubes look like. Wee! That is fun. I like this game. It has lots of fun things in it. Why is this all still works? The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. JJ Simmons that's voicing this guy. Next thing you know, he'll be asking Peter Parker to bring him the day's news and a latte pictures of Spider-Man. Then telling Korra she needs 